The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of Peltot.com, ADM software, or its advertisers. <laughs> News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of Peltalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet. With more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube, and on my site, GaryBombGarden.com, where you are encouraged to uh, post your comments based on my comments, whether you agree with moi or not. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're syndicated across the United States into 12 million additional households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. Welcome to the show. Yes, I'm a little more uh, upbeat than I was during the Republican convention. I was uh, caught yawning on uh, cam a couple of times there. I was just so exhausted. We did six and a half hours of uh, straight programming for four days in a row, two weeks in a row. Uh, how many flights? Four flights in those two weeks. Uh, it was tiring. In fact, this past weekend, I didn't even hardly crack open the computer. All day yesterday, kept it closed. Could not bring myself to look at the computer, believe it or not. Just too exhausted, too much time online, needed to give uh, the body a rest. Doing much better now. A number of you were actually concerned about me, and I appreciate those emails and those instant messages of concern, especially from the women who are very maternal <laughs> and and they care more than the guys do. But that's okay because the guys always say, "Suck it up, suck it up, and toughen up." And uh, you know the women say, "Oh, Gary, are you okay?" I noticed nobody was too much concerned about you, Boaz, and I've got to say. Alan and I put in a lot of time, but Boaz had to put in double time because after the shows were over, he had to transcode all that video and then post it on GaryBombGarden.com, on PalTalk.com slash News Talk, on iTunes, and on YouTube. And now I'm trying to compliment him for all his work in the hopes that he doesn't charge me for the time that he put in. <laughs> anyway, uh, great job. I'm very proud of what we did with you know, basically three people and the help of our PAL editors, uh, we put on a lot of programming. And uh, what made it tip really were all the calls from you guys because there's no way we could have sustained six and a half hours a day, four days in a row, two weeks in a row by ourselves. And had you guys just sat there twiddling your thumbs and with your mouth shut and not participating, it wouldn't have worked. So I thank you, my dear audience, for participating. And the great thing about this show, it matters not what your political persuasion is. We want to hear from you. Okay, all that aside, you know, uh, it's interesting, John McCain being the Republican nominee for President of the United States, who would have thunk really in the beginning of the uh, Republican primary process, which was way too long, as was the Democratic uh, primary process, that John McCain would be the last man standing given the fact that he was the one guy who, from the beginning to the end and in between, supported the war in Iraq at a time when this campaign began, it was extremely unpopular to support that war. Uh, and the common thinking was politically, you know what, if you want to succeed uh, and... and uh, stand the chance of uh, being the next president of the United States, whether you're Republican or Democrat, you better not support the war. And here he is. And in fact, coming out of the convention, huh, the polls put him on top of Barack Obama, who has been consistently opposed to the war. All the other candidates, most of them anyway, maybe all of them, I'm not sure, they uh, changed their position. It evolved with time, first for the war, then against it. Um, but here he is, uh, still the candidate, and more popular than the anti-war candidate. How is this even possible? Well, does the war really matter as a, an issue in this campaign? And was it really a mistake to go into Iraq? Well, many of us believe that it was, especially under the uh, 
cause that was given, searching for weapons of mass destruction that weren't there. But there are those, there is a body of thought that says, you know what, it was the correct thing to go uh, to war in Iraq. Now, very interestingly, there are veterans of this war and previous wars and the Afghanistan war who are staunchly opposed to this war in Iraq. But there are also veterans who are for the war. And there are those veterans who believe uh, and currently serving members of the armed forces that to be opposed to the war is to not support the troops. Now, the other side of that coin is that if you oppose the war, you are supporting the troops because you're forcing them to bring them home sooner rather than later, and that's a good thing. So that's how this all washes out. Well, there is a new video that has just appeared on YouTube uh, that gives a point of view that is extremely interesting. And I'm going to ask Boaz Frankel to play that in the presentation mode here, please, uh, in our virtual auditorium. For those of you who are listening, I will explain it to you after you listen to it, those of you who are on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Go ahead, Boaz. Play this video. Dear Mr. Obama, having spent 12 months in the Iraq theater, I can promise you this was not a mistake. I've witnessed firsthand the many sacrifices made for the people of Iraq. Those sacrifices were not mistakes. The Iraqi people are just like us. They want a chance to live in a secure world, free from tyranny, free from terrorism, free to prosper, free to raise their children and pass on a future. Are they better off today than they were in 2002? You bet. I've seen many men sacrifice their lives for the Iraqi people. They died for a purpose, not a mistake. They died giving hope. They died promoting freedom. Do you rescue a fireman just as he's about to save a child? When you call the Iraqi war a mistake, you disrespect the service and the sacrifice of everyone who's died promoting freedom. Freedom carries with it a price. Because you do not understand nor appreciate these principles, sir, I am supporting Senator.